back to some more Assassin's Creed 3 remastered. Um, I played like uh, an hour of the game. And then I realized I recorded a black screen. So we already passed that part and I can't go back from the save. I don't even feel like going back, man. So fuck it. We're here, man. Uh, we went to Achilles. Um, got a little bit of training. Six months passed. Um, we went on the boat. We met someone called Samuel Adams. Then we met someone called... Uh, I don't even know his name. can't remember. He's a captain of the ship. We learned the ship a little bit. Then we got out the Animus. We're gonna look for the power source, man. Let's get it. Sirens outside. Ooh, it's dark in here. I like the light. Okay. This way. Here, real quick. I wonder how tall this building is. It's here. Oh, that's a hold still. It's a lovely view. <laughs> Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Yeah, that answers your question, bro. It's tall. I had the animus and some bleeding effect. Let's see if perform these tricks. Man, I can't imagine being so high on a thing like this, doing this. These wires have electric in them. I mean, they're covered, but you never know, man. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the pace. Shut up, Sean. Shut up, Sean. See man, that was simple and easy, but you know, my little mic did not comprehend back then. You know? Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Mm -hmm. You're not even... Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running Man, the Sean, shut Sean. up. A joke. It was a joke. Or was it? Wait, what? <laughs> Where was I supposed to go? Just a heads up. There's no elevator access for me. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. Pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! A joke! It was a joke! Or was it? 
Sean, if you were my friend, I'm letting you know. that box right is that a fit bit as there is that wasn't so bad so was it you must be desmond not exactly what Daniel i expect cross but i guess your kind doesn't have many options these days who are you ask your father now give me that I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the count. Oh. We were saying, bro. We were saying. Couldn't hear you. That's right. Can't talk. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not. He used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but... It turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. Nope. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. Oh. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Let's take a walk. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. Hmm. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done.
was this? In the beginning, when we thought we could be saved, we sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. What work, girl? What work? The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. So this is... Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. another one like at the beginning we put over there so I don't think we can go over there yet until we get a third one and I think I also remember that so we're gonna go back in the anims bro you can take fall damage as does it I don't wanna find out I made it I made it Sean. Ah, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and 
I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. So this is how it started. What are you up to? Just brushing up on my American history. Well, I say history. They certainly teach you strange things in the States. Like what? Well, for all the talk of this being a revolutionary war, it was a civil one. Well, not that kind of civil. I mean, there was no America versus Britain. It was Brit on Brit action. And you can clearly see how the whole thing got started. One war gave birth to the other. You mean the Seven Years' War? Exactly. Seems the Crown overspent in its attempt to keep the French out. Wound up with a great deal of debt. Believing that the colonists should help to shoulder the burden, new taxes were created. It was a reasonable request, even taxes, if Parliament was taxes, rather, bro. well, undiplomatic about it. Well, it's not really fair to tax people for a war they didn't want any part of. What? Didn't want any part of? Did you not notice George Washington with Edward Braddock? He was right there in the middle of it. So here you have the Crown spending who knows how much money to secure a place for the colonists to thrive, and then, when they ask for a little bit of help... Right, look, think of it this way. King George and the colonists, they all go out to dinner, right? And when the bill comes, George asks for them to kick in and pay their share. Fair enough. But keep in mind, he's been taking them out to dinner gratis for decades now. But the colonists, oh no, they insist they only had a glass of water and a side salad. Never mind the table's full of half-eaten food and empty bottles of wine. Then when the king points this out, what do the colonists do? Oh, they flip the table over and they storm out the restaurant. Probably yeah. intending to turn later and burn it down. You left out the part where the king pointed a gun at the colonists and asked them to cover dinner for everyone in the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, interesting take. If he pulled out a gun, and I'm not sure he did, it would only have been after the hundredth failed attempt at getting them to pay their fair share. But how do you define someone's fair share? Oh, well, with a war, apparently. How do you define someone's fair share? So we talked to him twice. We talked to our dad twice. Uh, we also talked to Rebecca twice. Since we have the animus. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We're always being watched. We are being watched. Girl. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive? That's mental. That I mean she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old? No, oh, powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Hmm. I wanna know. Was it weird seeing Cross? Yep. What do you mean? It's different for you. You don't know about what happened, I guess. For a long time, he was important to us. He was a different person. We all Sean said he was a sleeper agent, point. like Lucy. It was different. She made a choice, but Cross, if you read the files, Abstergo just... They... They did terrible things to him. Rebecca? You're lucky. We all are. We have people who care about us, who look out for us. He was all alone, and the people he thought he could trust... They Did used him. him. Did you know him? No, but I knew Hannah. Nope. Who's that? She tried to help him. She trusted him. But there was a raid about a year ago. She stayed behind so the others could escape. Tried to reason with him to see if she could fix things. Well, what happened? What do you think happened? He killed her. That's what he does. That's all he knows how to do. Sometimes it seems like that's all any of us know how to do. Rebecca. What was she looking for? She was just about to cry and then she's like, man, I'm going back in the animus. Good luck, Desmond. 
These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? Spare a All moment. These things I must determine. Of course. For Have only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop What is it? Xing Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll have to work on this. Wait, why does he look so old? How many. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Ooh, Where William is Johnson, Johnson now? In Boston, That's making Frank. preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. Hmm, same you Adams again. Yo. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Interesting. Uh, you could have used a tree. You just repaired that house, bro. Wait, what? Boston? We're going to Boston. Alright, let's go to Boston. Fast travel real quick. Are you sure you want to travel the frontier? Yes. Okay. Uh, wait. It's my horse. My horse. Okay. Um. Am I just gonna keep fast traveling? I can't just. Wait. Can I? Yeah, I could've just done that, boy! Slowly learning, man. My brain is like slow. I'm sorry. Zoom all the way out to access fast travel. To all cities on the map. Okay. Now you tell me that. Go see what's up over here, man. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. Samuel we Adam. need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tory sting them at. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Got some business to attend to. Excuse me. Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, 
What can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Oh, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. Boston Country Journal. The world for a penny. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in... Hey! It's my own! No matter what you thieves called Dexmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, chauffeur. you tell them to sail across the pond and dig it themselves! It's not so open nice. for discussion now! Open this door or these men will person. break it down! Ah! Yeah. The bollocks! We're coming in! Ah! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Uh, 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 okay. Okay, I want you have that. You have? And then you have this. You have that. Yeah. Uh, Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. Sounds it's not my first dance. His name is Frank, for all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Huh. Let me loot this guy real quick. Ooh, he got six bullets on him. Card juice. You need to pet? Yeah, pet the puppy. Pet the puppy. No, okay. Loot. No, loot. Spam me. You're gonna spam me. Take a wheel. I'm gonna run real quick. Catch me. Whoa. This goes okay.
thought was awesome. I forgot how amazing the combat in this game was. Join Adam's meeting. We're here, boys. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest William venture, Molyneux. Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Stéphane Connor Chaffaut. and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. Money, May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Wow. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Let me go get rid of some tea, man. I love tea, though, by the way. I drink tea every day and coffee. Not a lot, though, like a cup of each. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Whoa. What's this? Who's that? Fast travel unavailable. I'm gonna have to run. No, look at this.
Get him, get him, get him. Ah, you killed your man. Okay, you pay for that. You all pay for that. Okay, I'm gonna run. Why y'all be like that? Destroy them smuggled cargo stacks. Like that. Huh? Let me reload my gun real quick. It takes so long, you know. 1775. 1773. I don't know. Plant that bomb real quick. That was awesome. Wait, what's this? Is this something? No? That was the weirdest thing. Yo, I'm pressing the button right now. What's up? <laughs> that was cool. Who's that? Don't care. Look for missions with the to free districts from Templar control and gain assess. Okay. I'ma do that. On my free time. But here we only show story. Ah, 
my Baz was Standing, just standing. Let me kill her. Let me kill her. Let me die. Lights in the night. Oh. Meet with Stefan Chapeau. Where is Stefan Chapeau? Is he close? He's close, man. Is he like, oh, let's go to his house? Come on, bro. Who's even there? You know what? Let me get rid of some notoriety. Both of you. Bam. I'm becoming anonymous again, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Simpsons of Smithfield, the finest provider of beef, field, and live products. Well. I think it's gonna. This is gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good one. See you in the next episode, man. Peace.